gifted crafters welcome back to my channel if you're tuning in for the first time my name is nancy with gifts hq and welcome to saturday crafternoon <laughs> so i see the chat is going on and seems like you guys think these were a little tough yeah we upped the game a little bit we wanted to see uh what the level was since you guys seem to be getting all the other ones we're making these just a little bit harder just to see how you guys do. <laughs> so we've got to give it that challenge, right? So for those of you um, who are new and, and have never been to any of our live chats, um, I host weekly live sessions and we talk about anything crafting. Um, sometimes we'll do a little project, you know, sometimes we'll do a haul, you know, it kind of changes up every week but um, we have a lot of fun here and we the trivia is just one of the ways that everyone kind of has a little challenge and we do keep tabs of who got what right and we do post on the community page uh, everyone gets a point for every question they get right and at the end of the year someone will be our crafting champion so who will it be will it be you <laughs> we'll have to see so I hope that you guys are really enjoying this. Uh, this week I have some pretty exciting stuff. Um, let's just do our quick technology check. Uh, if you can see me and hear me, please let me know in the chat. Um, I can tell you that um, last week we seem to have had a good run with our technology check, but a couple weeks ago we were having some issues. So again, I just want to make sure that you guys can see and hear everything that we're going to show you so just let me know yes if you can see me and hear me so that we can move on because we've got lots to talk about today <laughs> okay one thing um is that today is women's entrepreneur day so kudos to all the women out there that have their small businesses and i know there's a lot of you out there that do a lot of selling whether it be in craft shows or on Etsy, you know, or have a little shop, you know, uh, hats off to all of you guys. Really, really happy and you all should be proud of yourselves. Second thing is that today is National Adoption Day. So for those of you that have um, kids that are adopted or you work with kids that are adopted, you know, that's another great organization that's out there. I'm really in tune with the community and I love to help and do all kinds of charitable work. So we like to kind of keep track of all these little holidays that come up because, you know, as we're crafting, sometimes you can just make things that you can give out to not just family and friends, but to charitable organizations as well. So let me just take a quick look in the chat. I think we have some people that say they can see me and hear me. Let's just say hello to a couple of people. Hello to Judy. Hi, Nana, 31331. We've got One Minute Tips. We've got Robin. Let's see. I think, don't know if I missed a couple. I, I missed a few from the chat going through, but if I missed you, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So last week, we took a look at some ornaments that we made with the embroidery machine and we used the Dollar Tree clear ornaments to put them in place. We also created some light boxes or shadow boxes and you'll see some of them behind me here. Um, I think you can see one of them here. I have it lit up and it's just changing the colors and and I have a small one. I think you can see this one over here of a little train. Um, so, you know, these are just some fun little projects that you can make. Um, still working on the tutorial for that, just so I can show you the step-by-step -step instructions. We've had a lot of things that we were recording and so we're editing and it does take a lot of time to get all that stuff done because I really want to do clear shots so you guys can really see and understand all the steps to be able to follow along. So that is coming soon. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, do we have anything else? Okay. I think that's all the announcements that I had for right now. Now, this week, 
we're going to look at some more Christmas decor because we're still in that Christmassy spirit, even though Thanksgiving is coming up fairly quickly, like this Thursday. <laughs> so um, I know a lot of you will be putting up trees. You know, once Thanksgiving's over, they're, they're going to be starting to pull out all of their decor. So I wanted to kind of just show you a couple things that I was able to do. I did a little trip to the dollar store. And just a couple little things that I picked up and just threw, to, threw together for you guys. And I also have, um, it's a little magical project, I guess, if you will. And I'll reveal to you what that little project is. And it's using water beads. So I think that's just um, a little fun project we were able to put together. And I'm hoping it comes out okay because... We're going to be doing this live, so it's either going to be a bust or it's going to be a success. We're hoping for the success. <laughs> Alrighty, let me just take a real quick look at the chat. Let's see, any questions? Oh, Robin says, my six-year-old grandson was adopted when he was a newborn. Oh, how adorable. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I have some friends that also adopted two newborns as well. And they were brothers and they were able to keep them together and they adopted them and and they're thriving they're really thriving it's awesome okay one minute tip says it is a blessed thing to help others and pay it forward so awesome oh and judy says i went to the dollar store this week and spent 78 dollars who spends that much at the dollar store uh well <laughs> judy i think i got you beat there <laughs> But sometimes I go a little nutty and I start getting stuff for a lot of other people. So yeah, I kind of spend a lot of money at the Dollar Tree too. But it's okay because, you know, it's stuff that I'm doing for other people. And I really believe that they enjoy it and truly cherish it. So I don't mind doing it. So, <laughs> Alrighty, let's get started. So let's see, the first one I'm going to show you is something that I did using mini ornaments. And these ornaments come 16 pieces to the pack and they're very small. Let me just get the overhead here so we can show this to you. So this is what it looks like. It's 16 in a pack. Um, this, I mean, they have all different colors. This one is a gold color and it comes with the little string as well. So you can, if you want to hang them up on, you know, little trees or whatever, but Dollar Tree has all kinds of size ornaments. They had the really big ones and I did get a couple of those. So when I redo my window and, and all my, my decorations start going up, I'll definitely probably, probably incorporate some of that in there. Um, but you can use all of these from the jumbo ones to like the regular size ones to these minis. You know, you can use them on all kinds of crafts from table decorations, you know, for things you're hanging outside on your window. There's just so many things that you can do with it and you can mix and match all the colors depending what your theme is, you know. So it really is a lot of fun to work with the ornaments and there's so many things that you can just come up with. So I wanted to just throw together um, a couple of things that we were able to do with the little ornaments. So this was one thing that I used for this project. Um, the other thing that I did use is just a small piece of wood that you can get from the dollar store. Um, it doesn't even need to be anything elaborate, just a piece of wood or a piece of cardboard or something to lay it on. And this is what we kind of came up with. So you probably have seen these. So this is like a little ornament tree, if you will. And all I did was take a piece of wood that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I did put a lot of glitter on it because I wanted to, you know, match. Because I couldn't really find a paint. You can either paint it. But I couldn't find a paint to really like go with the look I wanted. So I did the silver um, balls ornaments, but with the different ones, like some of them are clear, 
some of them have like a, a silvery film to it and then the other one is um like the glitter ball i guess you want to call it so this is what it looks like i'm gonna have to you can see and then what i used as the topper is just an ornament from the dollar tree you know they have these so this is you know i cut the string off and then all i did to secure this was a hot glue gun super super simple to do didn't even take me maybe half hour um, all you have to do is just organize the design that you want you know sometimes people will go crossing this way or they'll alternate the colors or they'll keep it all solid you know there's so many different you know patterns that you can make with this but what i did was just kind of keep it all silver but an alternating silver so it's like the glittery silver this one has like the the shade of the silver and the other one is like a clear type of um ornament so only thing with this project glitter everywhere <laughs> so it can get a little messy but you know it's fun to make the kids love to make it you know so that's just something that i did now i did use um in order to kind of secure this in place i did use a cutting board from the dollar tree those plastic cutting boards um i don't know if you can see it here and all I did was just use that. And I only used it to help me secure the ornament because the ornament was a little top heavy. So I didn't want it to kind of collapse. So I did put that on top and then that created this little scene. Now this by itself, eh, it's okay. But if you add this to, let's say a mantle or, you know, just with that snowy, um, it's like a snowy fabric that you can put lay that down and then put this and a couple of candles and other things it'll be gorgeous and you can really dress up any little corner or table you know that you could just pull together with this now this one is the gold one that i i use the silver but you have the gold they had red they had green they had all kinds of colors so you can go as crazy as you want with this now this is just the mini version they do have the regular ornament sizes that are you know i guess a little bit bigger right and those will make a pretty big one so you can make this as big or as small as you want i just wanted a little mini thing to kind of pull together and so this was totally fine but you can definitely you know whatever ornaments you get you know the size just make sure that you get enough to be able to build up the tree right because you want to make sure that whatever your base is <clears throat> if you use the the wood as your base or a piece of cardboard you know whatever you're going to use as your base just make sure it's centered to that and then you're going to want to build up to whatever design you want to make so You'll probably have to get a little bit extra ornaments than you want to be able to do the pattern that you want when you're building up the tree. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Let me just pause right here and see if we have anything. Uh, one minute tip says, oh no, more Dollar Tree items. My hubby, hubby's going to kill me. <laughs> Robin says, how pretty. Julie says, oh, so cute. One minute tips, very pretty and from scratch. Wow. Robin says, Nancy, you are, you are so crafty. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. One minute says, I don't know how Miss Nancy does this. Doesn't she have a family and day job? I barely feed myself. <laughs> yes, I do have a day job. <laughs> and it is very difficult because you have your family life. You have stuff you got to do in the house. You've got your work stuff that you got to do. And then there's this, but you know, you always just got to have to make time for it. <laughs> so sometimes there's some pretty long nights, two, three in the morning. But hey, you do what you got to do. And I do it for you guys because I love doing this and I think it's a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So I don't mind putting in the extra work and the extra time as long as you guys love it too. <laughs> 
Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Judy says, you got my wheels turning now. We are looking for a tree topper for our company's tree this year at the Sea Aquarium. Hmm. Tree toppers. Well, <laughs> they do have a lot of tree toppers at the Dollar Tree, but I've seen things that they will take multiple tree toppers and kind of glue them together to make a big tree topper but you can do so many things i mean i can go on and on about tree toppers and what you can do with them so definitely you know there's tons of ideas out there judy you could just walk around that dollar store i'm sure you're gonna find something <laughs> that you can use as a tree topper and it doesn't necessarily have to be a tree topper you can just look for something that you can build to make a tree topper right so just look around at items and remember just don't look at things for what they're for right so ornaments ornaments are to put on a tree doesn't necessarily have to be on a tree it could be on your table it could if you can get you can get and this is one of the things that I, you know i've been wanting to put together too those little mini um trees that they have at the dollar tree instead of making it a tree use it as a reef and then you can put these ornaments around there and some ribbon and you can make a beautiful table centerpiece i mean gorgeous ones so look when you look at items especially from the dollar tree don't look at them for what they're exactly being used for like what they're supposed to be used for think of them as things that you can use to do other things you got to be really creative think out of the box <laughs> all righty let's see uh okay judy says we need to incorporate manatees on our tree topper Ooh, manatees hmm i'll have to think about that one <laughs> but you know over the summer they had a lot of sea things um at the dollar tree like sea stars and like you know they had like a whole theme of of like the sea so i bet you you can do something with like a starfish type thing and incorporate stuff on that anyway okay we're getting off topic here but judy i can give you tons of ideas <laughs> all righty let's go on to the next item that i want to show you so let me move this over Move this to the side here. Okay. So the next item, I used um, a couple other things. I used, and you don't necessarily have to use these things because there's other things that you can use. But Dollar Tree has these, and let me see what they're called. They're called Floral Foam Craft Artisan. These are those foam things in that flower section that you use usually they're the blocks that they have to be able to do like the um the flower stuff that you you know put into the foam so this one is just in the shape of a cone which looks like a tree right so definitely <clears throat> i picked up one of these and then i had this from last year but they do sell it this year as well i just didn't need to buy any because i had so much um this is just ribbon from the crafter squares from the dollar tree and this is like a glittery ribbon it has um let me see if i open it a little bit there we go it's a very it's like a tool with the glittery design on here for me it really didn't matter what the design was so for me this little glittery part is really the only part that i needed right so i just needed something with a little bit of a shimmer so they have all kinds of colors out there on these um just the colors that i was looking was like silver gold type thing so i use these and i use these a lot i use these for all kinds of stuff like i did a table runner um i have a video on a table runner that i did using this tool and it was a no so uh table runner so if you haven't seen that um just check um my playlist you should see them out there uh on there it was just a table runner that i did last year using this tool and just basically pulling it together i did two versions one was a, a so version and the other one was a no so version 
So using this tool, you know, you can put this, lay this out on some fabric and it looks really beautiful. Like it really like pops when you put it behind fabric. It's, I had like a beige type fabric, if I remember right. And I put this goldish color and it looks really, really nice. A lot of people loved it, but this is definitely, they have all kinds of different ones, different colors. So depending on your theme, you know, you can just pick up a roll of this and it does last pretty long. Let me see if they have, um, doesn't say how much. Oh, here it is. This is three yards. It's six inches wide and it's three yards. So you get three yards of this. So that kind of goes a long way. Three yards, you know, depending on what you're doing, it'll definitely, you know, go a long way with that. Okay, so what we did was I took the cone, I took this tool, which will be used towards the last part, um, and then I took ornaments, and we put this together. So let me move this over to the side. And we created this little tree. So all we did was, you know, put the little ornaments all around the cone. And then once you have all the ornaments, and I did this with hot glue, right? So you just take your hot glue and you just put it all around. And once you do that, you know, you have your ornaments in place. And then I picked up this ornament, this uh, tree topper from the Dollar Tree too. But this one, it's, it's a really nice one. It's got like the metal on it. So I was pretty uh, impressed. So I was like, wow, I think they're really upping the game on the ornaments. Because they did have a pretty big selection of ornaments this year. So I picked up these up pretty early um, when they started putting out the Christmas stuff. And I went back this weekend and I didn't see any of them. Like they were gone. They completely gutted that dollar store. <laughs> There was just so many things that were gone. It was like, wow, people really, you know, got their stuff together, which is kind of nice because, you know, at Thanksgiving, you have all your family and friends together. So, you know, why not bring crafting into it? So once everybody's done eating, because, you know, that's the big thing. <laughs> once everybody's done eating and the guys go off to do whatever it is they want to do, watch the football games, whatever it is, you know, then the women usually are chatting away and and you know we're we're stuck cleaning up the mess well that doesn't happen anymore <laughs> everything is mixed we're all equal now <laughs> so the men get to pick up too and the women get to have fun too so one of the things that you can do is you can craft with them you know and what better way to get ready for the holiday season you have all your friends and family there you can make a little craft together and this is something if you have a lot of kids or grandkids this is something they can easily do, you know, have them pick out the tree, you know, you get a little hot glue gun, maybe you help them with the hot glue. And then once they finish putting all of the ornaments in place, you know, on this one, I just kind of did a scatter. I, I, there was not really any logic to it. I just wanted to scatter them around and see wherever they fell. But you can do little designs and all kinds of things. And then you're going to see you'll you'll be left with little holes, which kind of looks a little eh. So then in order to fill the holes, I took this ribbon. And what we did was, you know, I chopped them up into little pieces. And then I just kind of poked them in between wherever you wanted. And I didn't put it everywhere. I just kind of scattered here and there as to where I wanted to show it. And it gives it a little extra to it as well so it's like oh you know this is kind of cute you know but they have um instead of getting the cones you know they they have these trees with these ornaments that are huge you know but i didn't want to make such a huge thing but another thing that you can do because one thing i wasn't too thrilled about this is it wasn't as defined as i wanted it to be i wanted it to look more like a tree and it, it just, it was a little eh. But what I've seen as some people do is they'll take cardboard 
And what you do is you basically, you take a, a piece of string or maybe and a, a little pen, and it has to be like a big cardboard piece. And then you just take the corner and with the string in your hand, you have it on one side and then you measure however big you want the tree. Let's say it's 18 inches or whatever, right? So you have that here. And then with the string, you have your pen and you just draw your line. And then that's what you basically cut out. And then once you have it cut out, when you roll it, you know, you're going to end up with a tree. And that's what you would then take the ornaments and you would glue them onto that instead of having to buy the foam. So, you know, there's different ways of doing it. And maybe doing it with the cardboard paper would make it a little bit more defined. But because this card, not cardboard, this um, foam is thick, because it's so thick, it doesn't really close to the end so that's why i was a little like eh. but the good thing is that the ornament kind of offsets that and you know the little ribbon that you have scattered all around kind of offsets it well as well so it didn't turn out too too bad but i think if you want to make it a little better you want to find something that has a more defined top because the the foam is you can see it does have about maybe about an inch on the top so you know if you use the cardboard it'll bring it all the way up to that point so it'll be a little bit more defined on there but i mean you know not a bad thing this is something that you know the kids can do as well you know they're just quick little crafts that you can throw together and by itself again by itself eh, it's okay it's cute but if you put it with candles and you decorate your area, it'll really pop and it'll look really nice. And it's something unique. You know, it's not something that people can just go out and buy at the dollar store or, you know, they can't just go into any market and, and buy it. Yeah, they can buy the ones that are made, but they won't have the ones that you designed yourself. So it gives you the opportunity to put your own flair to it. So that's something that I thought was really, really cute. And, you know, they're just little crafts that you can make. And I'm just trying to find little things that you can do with your grandkids and with family and friends. Just things that, you know, they create memories. You know, these are things that, you know, you don't sit down to do as often. And so you create these memories with your family and with your friends. And no one can take that from you. You know, these are just things that are happening. And many people, you know, they they just throw their decorations up. They go to the store, they buy whatever. And yeah, it looks beautiful. That's great. But wouldn't it be better for you to sit down and do it with your family and have that memory together? Because that to me lasts a lifetime versus buying something at the store that looks gorgeous. But there's no memories of it other than you, you know, hammering it away or putting it up and, you know, eh. So I always had this little, um, this little tradition that we have at our house. So every year, you know, we'll throw on the Christmas music. We open the box of the Christmas tree. We take out the Christmas tree and we all start decorating the house and everybody's kind of like singing along and putting the stuff together. So I just think it's a fun way because now this on top of that, you know, adds something that they can participate in and they feel a part of. So that way you have people that just, you know, are not just at your house, you know, to, to eat or do something, you know, you're actually building a memory together. And that's what's important to me. So, you know, that's why these little things I like to kind of put together and, and I have like for everyone to just participate and we just have a good time doing it. So I hope you like these too. Um, I have another one and this is the one that's with water beads so let me pull these over because I have a couple things here oh and let me see in the chat I haven't looked at the chat sorry uh, let's see oh everyone's saying happy holidays oh my gosh we got a couple more people that joined hey 
Make pretty things. Hey, how are you? Thanks for joining. Let's see. We've got <laughs> crafting with Robin. Hey, how are you? I covered one of those Dollar Tree tinsel trees with red and green ornaments a few years ago. I might have to do a silver and gold tree to love these. Yeah, I really like the silver and gold. I I love the red and green too. And I'm still trying to decide, you know, what's going to be my theme this year because <laughs> I keep going back and forth. I love the silver and gold theme. And we've had that theme for a while because I just have so many things, silver and gold. Um, and it's just beautiful. The way it kind of shimmers with the lights, it really makes it look nice. But then the red and the green also, it's kind of like, oh, or you could do the red and the white. I mean, there's just so many choices. It's so hard. You know, some people go with the gnome theme. Some people do the um, Grinch theme. That one is really neat. Um, you know, and then you have your traditional ones. So it is just so many things that you can do. So you know we'll be getting ready to put our tree up and do all the ornaments and and the fun stuff too um but it's just you know again nice way to bring your family in so okay oh crafting with robin says she has great ideas i just got my knitting machine in the mail yesterday Woohoo! all right awesome crafting with robin i love that machine i'm telling you i'm learning the addy and I have the, do I have, yeah, I have the central behind me here. I still love this machine too. They're both really good machines. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what works better than the other. So it's taking me a little longer because I'm doing two projects every time because I want to see how the central works on a specific yarn on a specific project. And then I'm going to repeat the same project on the Addy and see how that works. So a lot of it has to do with what yarn you're using. It has to do with the size of the yarn, the type of the yarn. And then we want to see how the machine actually reacts to it. So it's, it's taking me a little longer because I really want to see what each machine does a little differently. And there's just so many neat things that you can do from little dollies to blankets to hats, scarves, headbands. I mean, the list goes on and on and on with all the stuff that you can do with those machines. So I'm having a fantastic time and I've got a video that's gonna be coming out shortly. Um, it, we just have so much going on that it was hard to find time, but we have one, it's being edited. Um, it's already done. It just needs to get cleaned up and then we'll be submitting that out to you guys pretty soon. So you should be seeing that come out um, probably within the next week or so. Okay, let me see anything else. Uh, one Minute Tip says my hubby is getting this for Christmas, getting his this Christmas too. <laughs> Dang phone. <laughs> Judy says we have we just have to dust off our tree. It's been up for over a year. <laughs> oh God. Robin says he'll love it. One minute. Crafty says I got the centro. Oh nice. I like the centro. It's really good. Let's see. Um, yeah, he's been getting the centro too. Addy is out of my budget. Yeah, that's the only thing with the Addy. It is pricey. But I can tell you just for me, you know, cranking the machine without any yarn or anything on it, like you could feel the difference in the gears. You can you can tell that the Addy, while it's more expensive, the gears themselves are very, very good. Like you can tell it's the higher quality, but the central, you know, as long as you don't abuse the gears, you should be OK with them. You know, so it's again, that's why I'm testing every project on both machines, because I want to just really see how it works. So, you know, that way I can give you guys a really good review of both machines. OK, let's see. All righty. <laughs> well, you guys are really chatting up a stern today. OK, the spaceman dancing in the corner just cracks me up. <laughs> 
Oh, good. I'm glad you like our little, uh, I don't know what you call those, emojis, whatever, things that pop up on our screens, but <laughs> they're, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> they're a lot of fun. They add, they add a lot to the video, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> All righty. Let's talk about what you're going to need to do my final little special reveal. I can tell you this project, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, one of my, my kids, uh, my son actually is autistic. So although he's older, you know, he, he has challenges that he'll have to face his whole life, but you know, it's, it's kind of nice to see the little child in them. So, you know, we had this little project today and we're like, look, what's, this does like a little bit of magic. And so it was pretty cool to see his face light up, you know, when we did this. And I really hope the project works today. So we'll see. Like I said, it's either going to be a bust or it's going to be a success. And I'm hoping for that success. But one of the things that you're going to need in order to do this project is water beads. And I was able to find water beads in the dollar store but this is the can that it comes in it's this is over in like um what do you call it the scent that they have where, where they have like all the scents and stuff like this is the there's called shore scent and it's this one is glistening cranberry and i'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute now this is nine ounces and they use these as like air fresheners. So it's like if you open up the thing, it has like um, little the, the holes so you can see the cement. And it does smell like the cranberries and it's supposed to be like a room freshener type thing. Now, the ones that they have at the dollar store are different colors. So they had like green and they had red, like this one was cranberry, but the cranberry was mixed. It was a red and a white. So what I had to do, I only wanted the white ones and I'll show you why in a few. So I had, we had to sit there and pull out the red ones and leave only the white ones. And I think we got, um, I think it was like three of these that we got and we removed the red ones. We kept only the white ones and this is kind of what was left over. So we threw it into this back into this jar. And you can see these are, let me just show you the actual name of it. See, it's called Shore Sense. So these are like little air freshener type things. And some people put them in their cars and their houses or whatever. But they are really fun. And I'll show you why. Now, when you open it up, they're just these tiny little balls. If you can see that. Okay, and they're very slippery and they're very bouncy. I can tell you <laughs> we've dropped these on the floor and they were bouncing around like little balls all over the place. <laughs> but what you can do with these are so many amazing things that you would never even think of doing with water beads or as they call them, um, sure sense, glistening cranberry, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but this is pretty cool for decorating. Um, what we ended up doing, and I'll kind of just, let me clear this here, because it is going to involve a little bit of water. So a little nervous about that. Hope I don't spill it. <laughs> so let's see if I can move this back. All righty, let me just grab some water if you don't mind. Sorry. Okay. Yes, it's water. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So I bought a little candy dish from the dollar store and I'm going to get something here just so you could see it a little better. So I got my little, this is one of my little um, storage little basket thingies that I have and I have these kind of all around my room and I kind of store my scraps and my things here it's just a little bin um you know I like it because it's a nice deep size so it's just something really cool 
So what I can do with this is I'll take this and I'm going to turn it upside down just so I can put this on top so you guys can really see this. So again, something really fun that you can do with your kids on this. Inside this little um, jar that I got at the dollar store, we have a little scenery type thing. So Dollar Tree has these little miniature items that you can get to like kind of just decorate all around for your Christmas stuff. So what we did was we kind of took some of those little decorations and we created a little scene. And so we put the scene inside of the jar and we filled it up with these water beads. And I'm going to show you exactly uh, what kind of happens once you put some water in there. So it's a little magical. So have you guys seen this stuff? Um, I don't know if you have. Let me know in the chat if you've seen it. Let me just check the chat here. Um, oh, because I see some activity. So, okay. Nana says, I want the knitting machine, but I've got all the looms already and I don't need any more of the things that I do. Well, Nana, hold on to that because I forgot I wanted to show you guys something too. Um, Miss Banks um, had told us about looms. And so I just ordered, I, I was looking for the pom-pom maker and I ordered in Amazon. They had this little pack that comes with the pom-pom makers but it also came up it gives you like the, a little bit of yarn to work with some waste yarn so i thought that was pretty cool and this was like a little pack that i was able to buy so you've got the waste yarn and then i was able to get the pom-pom makers and they come in different sizes it gives you one two three four and then on top of the pom-pom makers it also gave me um the looms that you're talking about and they're mini looms they're not you know anything huge let me get them out see so we have like a little case of looms so i thought that was pretty neat and so you know so i got a little one i don't have the big big looms that i'm sure you're probably talking about is the really big ones i don't have those um because i have the knitting machine now so i'm kind of happy with that but this was a cute little kit and it was pretty inexpensive. I got it off of Amazon and it just had a couple of looms in there. So I thought that was pretty neat. Okay, so let me see. Uh, let's see. Hey, we got a couple more people. Hey, it's Simply Ketty. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Glad you can join. Oh, <laughs> so Ket Ketty is one of my co workers and uh, she's on the chat right now. She said, uh, Nancy is such an awesome person and boss. Oh, Kenny, you're so sweet. <laughs> Let's see. You can buy them by the pound online. Yes. Um, make pretty things. You can buy water beads by the pound in Amazon. Now, now we, I looked at it in Amazon and they had a bag of them, but it was a little pricey compared to, I was like, well, I can go to the dollar store because I know I really don't need all that many because it's not like a big jar but i have seen people kind of put it together on like big aquariums and like big big um containers the the thing is that you have to have a clear container when you do this right because you want to be able to see what's inside so you know that's something that you know i thought it was pretty cool now this one's like a little candy dish so it has like a little top to it but you really don't need the top so i'm going to push this over to the side but these water beads are in there. I did add a little bit of that scenery that I was talking about with the little miniature things from the dollar store. And I added a little bit of that fake snow on here. And let's see how it came out because now I'm going to need to pour some water in here and it'll reveal the little scene. And I'm hoping that it works out. So let's see. I've got... Oh, I've got some water here. I'm hoping I don't make a huge mess. <laughs> but let's do the reveal, shall we? Okay. Got everything out of the way. Hopefully this doesn't go everywhere. 
So let's start pouring it in. Let's see if you make sure you guys have a good view of this. I hope you can see everything. <laughs> All righty, here we go, guys. So you should see that it's starting to reveal something in the bottom. And ta-da! <laughs> Let's see, can you see it? Let's see, hold on. Let me fill it up. And I'm going to stick this over to the side. And like I told my son, it's a little magical because first you just saw the little beads. And now, let me see if you could see this. This is the little scene. And it almost looks like things are floating in the air because the water beads are actually holding the little, I have like little snowflakes and it looks like that they're floating in the air. So it's so, so neat. So we have a little tree with a uh, little light post and the little miniature people in there. And so we stuck that in on the bottom and then you have, you know, just the snowflakes floating on the top. And mine has a little bit of the air bubbles. And usually you take a little stick and you would take them off. But you don't, I, I wanted to leave them in because it kind of looks like it's snowing. So I kind of left those in there. But I thought this was really, really cool. So let me try to put this closer. And see if you guys could see that. Yep. Try to do it without spilling here. So I hope you guys are able to see this, but this is a really fun project to do, especially with the kids. So this is neat. You know, you do the little scene, then you have to, once you have the scene in place, then you pour in these little water beads. And then what you do is you just pour in the water and it's like it makes the water beads almost invisible. And then you can see just your scene and you can put little things like I did with the little snowflakes to have them floating in the air. So that's really, really neat. And, you know, once you pour the water in, you know, you see the kids, their faces light up because they're like, wow, look at that. That's so cool because, you know, you have no clue what's in there. So I thought this was really, really cool. It's something that, you know, you can do with your kids. Now, what I would recommend now, once you have it set up, especially if you have kids, you don't want the kids reaching out. Oop, dropped a little water bead there. See how bouncy it is? <laughs> you don't want the kids eating these. These are very toxic to the kids. So what I would do, like this one with the candy dishes, I would close it and seal it either with a hot gun or something just so that the kids can't get to it. You don't want them trying to like eat these little things. <laughs> so definitely, you know, just have that in place. But are you, if you're going to have it up in a mammal, they probably can't reach it anyway. But make sure that, you know, the kids know that this is not something you can eat or anything, you know, because these what happens with these little water beads is pretty interesting is once you have the water beads in place and you put them in water, they expand so i did take a bowl overnight and we put them in a bowl and i put some water in it so that they could start to expand that way they would be bigger by the time we were actually gonna pour it in and do the actual project because we just did this kind of this morning so we wanted the the beads to expand overnight so that i knew how many beads i actually needed and they didn't kind of overflow so definitely, you know, something that's really cute that you can do, you know, I know the kids enjoy watching it kind of reveal when you're kind of pouring the water in. And sometimes, you know, they can just pour the water and they're just like, wow, you know, you can do all kinds of scenes and they really, really love it. So I think, you know, this is a lot of fun to make with them. 
So um, let me know what you think. And if you do any of these projects, you know, let me know or put it in our Facebook group because I really love to see what you guys make. You know, I love to enjoy, you know, exchanging the, the photos and everything. It's a lot of fun. So let's see. All righty. So let me go to the chat. Make pretty, th make pretty things says very cool. Nancy Robin says, oh, how neat. Nana says cool. One minute tips. So cool. Judy says, wow. <laughs> One minute tips. Wow. 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 <laughs> it's like a big snow globe. Yeah, it is. Right. It's like a big snow globe. I mean, it's pretty cool. And remember, if you don't want to have the little bubbles, all you have to take like a skew, a skewer stick and just kind of move it around. The bubbles will go away. But, you know, I decided to just leave them there to give it that little extra effect of snow coming down. So let's see. Your son probably was amazed. I know I am. <laughs> Miss Nancy added again. Yeah, you have to be careful with kitties. They get into everything. Yes, they do. My dang kids, when young, would be shooting these water beads out of their rear. They are a handful. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> Alrighty. So I, I just thought that this was a really fun project to do. And you know, it's something that, you know, the kids think it's amazing when you pour in the water in. So you just need to find like a clear container to put it in. Um, I know that if you go to Michael's, they do have, it, it's kind of like this size, maybe a little smaller. I'm not sure, but about this uh, the size of this red container here they had some clear ones so if you want to do like a whole scene you can do that too and then once you're done with it you know you, you dump out the water get a strainer so you see so have the beads it dumps out the water and then you can just take the scene out or you know you can do it for any type of holiday you can change it up you know if you want to do, do something different you know so definitely something that's fun to do with the kids and, you know, just a fun project to make. So guys, I think that's all I had for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'm going to go ahead and log out now because we've got some more stuff that I'm working on and I want to get some of this stuff out to you. So definitely, you know, if you're interested, please go ahead and, and do the projects and put it in our Facebook group so we can see what you guys have. And I want to wish you guys a very happy Thanksgiving. You know, the holidays are coming up and I hope you guys have some time to enjoy with your friends and family and do all of the things that are the most important in this world, which is family friends and people you love and care about forget about all that material stuff it really isn't worth it <laughs> all righty guys hope you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you all for tuning in and i'll see you next time until then keep crafting bye everyone <laughs>